Visual Studio provides very tight integration with SharePoint from a developer's perspective. So for example, you can build with Visual Studio project items and package them as features and solutions. So let's delve a little further into this. For example, you may build a list definition in Visual Studio that defines the columns and behaviors for a list. And then as well, you may build a list instance. You may build event receivers that fire when a user edits the data in the list and of course you may build a visual user interface such as a, a web part. You can add workflows or event further event receivers for business processes and you can add mapped folders and application pages. So Visual Studio is aware of all of these assets for a SharePoint solution. It also allows you to gather together logically a number of these project items into a feature. And a feature is a logical grouping that says when I deploy this solution, make sure that this event receiver and this list instance and this list definition are deployed and can be activated as a single unit because they rely on each other. When you use the deployment tools from Visual Studio, it packages your features and other assets into a solution and deploys it to your SharePoint server. And you can attach the debugger and debug and test your solution there. Now, what Visual Studio actually builds is a WSP or a Windows SharePoint solution package. So think of the WSP as an installer specifically for SharePoint. Now, it's in some respects much more powerful than, than a traditional Windows MSI installer because it enables synchronization of your package across multiple servers in a, in a SharePoint server farm and also supports the concept of feature activation and deactivation. Furthermore, although they're very powerful, you can edit your WSPs directly in Visual Studio. So there's no need to use complicated tools such as Orca for editing your installer.